What is going on all you awesome people, Rhymes out here, and today I got some pretty exciting Dragon Ball Xenos information for you guys. Just like in my last video, this information might get you so excited that you'll go Super Saiyan and blow up everything around you, so be sure you're ready for that. Are you ready? Alright, here we go. So this new picture leaked onto the internet today. This is the upcoming page of uh, V Jumps Magazine for the September issue featuring Dragon Ball Xenoverse. And what's the first thing that you see? You see that our red-haired mysterious warrior is a Super Saiyan. Well, we kind of already expected to assume that. So uh, if anything, this actually makes us think that this is more likely to be character creation. But again, not confirmed because, you know, we're going to play the charade and assume that this is just some another character that you can only play as and it's not going to be character creation, which I, stu I still assume it is. But, you know, again, we're not going to confirm that until it's actually confirmed. But yes, our right here mysterious warrior can go Super Saiyan. But that's not the news in this video. Ah, uh, that is not the news. As you can see from the title of this video, we have two bits of news. Well, one is, one is the news and the other one is kind of a speculation. So the first thing we're going to go over is the news. The news. So if you look at these uh, screens, you see uh, the mysterious red haired Super Saiyan and red haired warrior, I guess, fighting against the an androids at the top screens, powering up in the middle screen. But the real news is what's happening on the bottom. So on the bottom, you see, uh, looks like our warrior is traveling around West City, which is weird because in my last video I told you that it's been confirmed that there won't be an open world style gameplay which came from the developers themselves. But this picture makes me think otherwise. That, that, is, that clearly looks like <laughs> or, or an open world. So, I don't know, maybe it's just a screenshot slash cutscene. But to me, that looks like an open world, so that's the rumor. I know I said this is going to be the, the, the actual news part, and I kind of jumped in talking about that. The news part is coming after this. But the rumor is we might have an open world game uh, uh, this time around. Uh, I know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, again, don't take this as a confirmation. We're just speculating, because these screenshots, which you can't really see because they're too blurry, which, of course, as soon as they release the HD version of these screenshots, I will upload them on my channel. So be sure to stay tuned to this channel to see those later. But as of right now, it looks like open world might be an option. I don't know, maybe maybe it's not completely open world, but I don't know, we'll see. It looks like you can walk around the Dragon Ball Z world, and that's kind of exciting news to me. I'm pretty sure you guys are excited, because I know it's one of the things that you all have been asking about for the longest. But now let's get to the actual news. The, the big news is we have a little bit of window of what campaign mode is like, the story mode. Uh, which I still assume is hero mode, but again, we're not going to call it hero mode until it's confirmed. Uh, the story mode actually features something pretty, pretty awesome. And as I said in my last couple of videos, Dimps is really focusing on giving us a brand new and amazing Dragon Ball Z campaign mode this time around. And they're putting in a lot of resources and making it awesome. And one of the things that they're going to do is give you options. So as you're playing as this mysterious warrior that you yourself may or may not create, <laughs> uh, you have choices you can make. So in, in the screenshots, what's happening is, we can't really see, but what's actually happening is, is he's walking up to Yamcha, Yamcha's asking him to go fight the, probably the androids, he's asking him to go fight the battle for him, which when he does that, is going to change the time. So essentially what I'm trying to say is, is you actually have options on how you play this game this time around. It's more of like an RPG style type of thing, but apparently every decision you do changes the gameplay in some certain way. Now I'm pretty sure there's still like a main campaign mode that stays like in the same throughout the game, but apparently you have options of how you can actually play through the campaign mode. So I don't know what exactly what that means. Uh, as soon as I find out, I will of course let you guys know. But as of right now, it looks like you have kind of that, you know, freedom to make decisions and everything you make a decision something else happens so we'll see again i don't really know what that means but to me it looks like you know you can basically alter the endings and alter the gameplay every time you play so that's what i think i mean you know what let's go ahead and call all this a rumor for now because i you know i can't you know tell too much based off of a screenshot i was taking of the upcoming magazine but there's a second page to this there is a second page that tells you more as you can see it's cut off uh you can't really see it so once that second page comes out, of course I'll do a part two to this video, but as of right now, the two rumors are, well I guess one rumor, one really kind of news, one rumor is we might be doing open world this time around, and two, uh, you have choices you can make and uh, each choice affects the gameplay. So what do you guys think about that? Are you excited? Not excited? Let me know in the comments below. I am personally excited and I really, really hope that we do have this open world system because it will be pretty, pretty fun to play and walk around the Dragon Ball Z world. And the whole idea of being able to alter the gameplay based on the decisions you make is freaking awesome. So, uh, uh, uh. Uh, one super sandwich. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, la <laughs> like, lading, like rating below. And of course, I'll be joining you guys in the comment section to try to answer as many questions as possible. I don't know everything, but I do know some. So whatever I know, I'll try to answer to my best ability. Anyways, guys, I hope you're having an awesome day. My name is Rhyme Style, and I will see you guys in the comment section below.